Hey, what's going on, Peace Family? It's Kyle that's here for another post. Here walking the streets of New York City, right? As you see, not many people out uh, Saturday morning. Uh, you know, people are taking their precautions, uh, wearing masks, uh, you know, not too many people out all at one time. Uh, but as you hear, things are still moving. You know, buses are still going, you know, cars still going, you know what I'm saying? Those type of things, right? See, multiple buses. I mean, you know, it's the city that uh, never sleeps, for better or for worse. Um, but, you know, people taking precautions, you know, like, you know, because we still have to live, you know? I mean, people not hanging out for the most part, um, and if they are, they're people they are already in the house with. Uh, some people got on masks, some people don't. Um, some people are, you know, getting their exercise on with mask on. Uh, I don't have a mask on uh, because I'm not going out like that. Um, and that's just because of I work mostly inside because I teach now uh, in on the computer mostly for the day. So um, there's no reason for me to really be hanging out outside unless I may be exercising briefly and then coming back in. I'm going to the store, which is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> All right, uh, but sometimes I do get out just to kind of walk around the neighborhood a little bit, get outside. And uh, I'm not doing this video till you hear the sirens, right? So it's, what's interesting, family, is um, the sirens have a different context now. You know, you know, because of the news, heavy news, based on a lot of fear, and some of it rightfully so. Uh, but the context of when you hear a siren or police, police siren, or ambulance siren. Like, is that somebody sick? Is that somebody that's in dire need of medical attention, you know, because of the, because of, uh, the virus? And uh, it could be, or it may not be, you know, but our brains tend to go to the, to the negative um, when it comes to these things. And again, it's not to say that we shouldn't be cautious. I mean, that's why I'm not hanging outside uh, for the last two weeks. I've been cautious, you know, been taking my vitamins, fasting, you know, meditating, praying, exercising, because those are all important things to keep the immune system up. And I'm trying to stay off the news, um, get the news, get the information that I need that I feel is vital uh, to my getting through this, us getting through this. And, uh, you know, I don't do I don't do the fear thing, you know, like I'm not saying I don't have some trepidation, uh, but you, you don't need to be you don't need to be uh, overwhelmed with fear because then you're no good to yourself or anybody else. And also that breaks down the immune system as well. Um, but definitely been doubling up on my vitamins because I already take vitamins, I already take supplements. Uh, doubling up on my water intake because again, I already drink water, which has been doubled up on it even more. So these are things that be preventive instead of reactive, proactive instead of reactive. All right, and this is a time for us to really hunker down and really get back to what's necessary what's needed you know i'm not doing fast food i'm not doing fried foods i'm trying to stay off the sugary stuff uh, i actually uh uh bought some uh, peanut butter it's kind of sugary um uh, probably shouldn't have bought it <laughs> uh but that's just like kind of my one i guess my one cheat you know what i'm saying is the uh is the peanut butter you know uh, i try to get the natural stuff uh, where it's not as sugary but you know, um, again, work in progress, like we all are. Uh, but I'm not eating that like every single day. You know, I'm making sure I cook, cause I do cook. Uh, for those out there, I do cook. I'm pretty decent in, in the kitchen, no doubt. Uh, but, but for real, uh, you know, I'll, it's it's a it's a health thing for me, and it's a thing where I can uh, make what I want. I know what's in it. You know, um, my lentils. Uh, you know, pinto beans, black beans, garbanzo beans, um, what else? Red beans, um, also with like, you know, certain fruits, all my oranges, my lemons, my limes, um, my homemade smoothies with like uh, the supplements in there. I mean, you know, just doing all the necessary things that needs to be done. Uh, in order for my body to be healthy, for my mind to be right. So 
I can live my best life, even if I am sequestered in my home. <laughs> and we all are sequestered in our homes for the most part. But us being sequestered at home doesn't mean they say we can't get out. You gotta, you know, still need natural sunlight. Also, this is part of my health too. Walking these streets, getting natural sunlight in. Even if it's cloudy, uh, the sun is still out and your body still needs that on your skin because it helps to trigger certain things in the body to help the body uh, stay in optimal health with us at homeostasis. Yeah, so these are things that uh, the body needs, you know, whether they tell you that or not, you know what I'm saying? These are things that the body needs in order to function properly. So, so yeah, family, uh, I just want to make this video that you know I'm okay. My people are okay, which, you know, give thanks for that. Um, you know, we're just, you know, paying, paying attention to the, the, the climate and uh, taking the necessary precautions that we need to take. And you should do the same as well. Stay informed, don't listen to these folks that are getting on here and yapping their mouths, talking about the virus and they don't know anything about it. They're just being um, parrots, parakeets, just repeating what everybody else says and not doing their own research. So when I tell you these things that I'm doing, these are things that I've been doing and these things that I've looked up, researched on my own, see what works uh, and it has results of working right um so yeah but hope you and yours are well um and then again look out for one another you all right this is the time again for us not to be individual uh but for us to be vigilant in our health not just physical health but our mental health right because if you feel like you gotta turn off that news turn it off go 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 do some work go get some exercise in uh meditate uh, Create, create a song, you know, if you feel like you got to get it off your chest, create a song about it, create a poem about it, you know, uh, do some art. If, if you have, you know, art supplies, do some art. If not, make some art supplies, you know, uh, look up some YouTube videos on that. There, there's many different ways, right? But I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm rambling on here, but I just want to let everybody know it's going to be okay. Take the necessary precautions, control what you can control, and then, you know, make sure that you know, we'll be taken care of, you know, if you believe in a high power or, you know, religious or spiritual, you know, use that to uh, get you through this and uh, lean on your close family and friends, those who love you, to uh, get, get us through this. Get you through this, get us through this. All right. So on that note, family, peace and blessings, much love to you and yours and stay in that positive mindset, stay in that hopeful mindset, do the things you can and things that you can't control and leave the rest up to, you know, for things to be okay. All right. So peace and blessings, family. I'm out. I'll holler at y'all later. Got a podcast coming up later today. All right. So check us out, Grand Rising Collecting, if you can. All right. Thank y'all for listening. Peace.